A Bemidji woman's father is being recognized for the work he did to save lives in Nigeria back in the 60s. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore has the story of the disturbances. Most people around here knew my dad. And, and they did not know this story. This is Reverend Paul Griebel. He lived in Bemidji until his death in 1992. But before that, he and his family spent time in Nigeria. Paul worked there as a Christian missionary in the 60s. He helped save lives when a war arose in the country. At our boarding house, we had a lot of people working for us who were um, evil. And so that's why he wanted to shelter them. And just in his tiny little um, linen closet, he sheltered, I don't know, 20 people, something like that. Paul's daughter Christy says the work her father and her mother Margaret did left an impact on her whole family, as well as the lives they touched in Nigeria. Um, and this is a picture of us when we were in Germany. Our whole family except for mom, I think she was taking the picture. I think almost all of them got to safety. There was only like maybe one or two. And then after the war even, the, one of them came back and, and worked for us again. His name is Reuben. <laughs> Reverend Griebel's story is now being shared in a film called The Disturbances. The filmmakers conducted interviews with people from all over the country to make sure that the story of the Christian missionaries was told. Especially when we lived in Nigeria, whenever um, he could help somebody, either monetarily or, um, you know, just by helping them in some way, he would do it. Reporting in Bemidji, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.